stampers it's Cindy here with Stamping Chick Creations I just wanted to do a quick video on this prized peony stamp set that is featured in our annual catalog and if you haven't seen this uh, bundle yet you are definitely missing out um, it is found on page 82 of our new idea book and catalog and this is the suite right here and again um, sweets are inclusive of everything that coordinates with this set so this will show you the suite here is 132.75 but it includes everything from ribbon to the doilies to the paper to the stamp set and the sizzlets on um, page 83 it's actually showing you some sample projects so um, it's beautiful and again it's showing us the three colors that coordinate with this paper which is the petal pink gray granite and basic gray beautiful beautiful color combination um, if I turn to page page 84 it's going to show me the stamp set and it's actually going to also show me that we have a coordinating sizzlet to, to match that so what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna walk you through very quickly um, how you would assemble this 3d peony right here so if you're coming to my peony class that's coming up um, you're going to do this um, in the class but I just thought I would actually just show everybody as well because I, I don't want anybody being um, thrown off by how complicated it looks because it's absolutely not. So I will tell you that when I received my stamp set, I fell in love with it immediately. Um, and then when I got the sizzlets, now I put my sizzlets on a magnetic sheet, but when I received my sizzlets, um, these are all the bits and pieces that come with it and they're kind of crowded on my magnetic sheet but um, I was very very overwhelmed and I was kind of panicking a little bit because I had scheduled a class around this and then I thought how am I going to put all these pieces together and teach these people how to put a peony together with all these pieces when essentially really um, it's four pieces so it's this sizzlet, this sizzlet, um, this one here and this large one right here, okay? It's four, four pieces. The rest are leaves and um, the dies that match the um, actual stamp set. So I just wanna show you what a great job Stampin' Up! did um, designing this sizzlet as well. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've just cut this out of some scrap paper and I just picked blue because I just wanted to cut everything out on one sheet just to make my life a little bit easier. So what you're going to notice is that there's four different sizes here, okay? And I know it looks very overwhelming, um, but what I like to do is I actually like to start um, from the smallest piece and work my way up. So what you're going to do, so you're going to notice that on all of these pieces at the bottom, there's a bit of a notch, okay? That's going to be really, really key for us because what's going to happen is those notches are going to line up. So I'm gonna do this upside down so you guys can see. So I'm taking my smallest piece and I'm just tucking it in. Maybe, so I'm doing this upside down. Okay, here, let me do it towards me so that I can get this in here for you. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so I'm going to tuck this in here. And when I did this the first time, I didn't even think it looked like a peony, so that's where I was a little bit um, alarmed. Um, so see, I don't know if you can see this, but we want these notches to match up, okay? So once these notches here have matched up, then we're good. So what I would do is actually put a glue dot in between those two just to hold it in place, okay? I'm not gonna do it for right now, just for the case of this video. Um, it's still not looking like much yet, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to slide it in between these two and again lining up all of my um, notches I guess is what I would call them and again without doing this by gluing them it, it does make it a little bit more complicated doing it on a video because I'm trying to line it up um, but here we go and then my third one is basically just sliding it in as such, lining it up, making sure all those pieces are lined up, which they are not right now, because they keep moving on me because I'm doing this while I'm trying to hold the paper as well. Okay, so it doesn't look as pretty in, um, in blue. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like 
in pink, okay? So it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful bundle. Um, and the blue probably doesn't do it justice to be quite honest, but there is a little insides here that would be the little stem part and then some leaves. So we have this piece here that would be, would tuck right inside here as such in a nice color, not in silver, obviously. Um, and, um, and then we could actually sponge the edges and that kind of thing as well, just to give it some more depth. So I just want to show you how super, super quick that comes together. Um, and if you're coming to my peony class, you'll have a bigger appreciation for it when you see the finished cards. Um, but for the simplicity of this video and just showcasing how the how this sizzlet comes together, um, I just wanted to make sure everybody had that opportunity. So if you're interested in purchasing this bundle, you can absolutely do so on my via, on my Stampin' Up page, um, which is Cindy Piggott, all one word, dot stampin' up, dot net. Um, and you can order directly from my website and have it shipped to your house. Um, or you could go through my VIP page um, and message me, and or you could reach me on my blog, which is stampingchickcreations.com. Um, so hopefully that helps and you love it. And if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I'd love to answer your questions. And if you're coming to my peony class, you're gonna love it. So thanks for joining me. Hope you're having a great day. Stay safe and we'll talk soon. Thanks guys, bye.